NASA's Voyager 1 spacecraft is the most distant human-made object ever created. It has traveled farther than anyone could have imagined, reaching deep into interstellar space. Launched over 45 years ago, it continues its mission, going far beyond what scientists expected. It's a true symbol of human determination and scientific ambition. This spacecraft didn't just survive all these years, it still sends data back to Earth regularly. That might sound normal, but it's doing this using technology older than a cassette player, which makes it even more impressive. Voyager 1 was launched in 1977, during a time when computer power was incredibly limited. Yet it recently made a groundbreaking discovery that surprised scientists around the world. This discovery happened far from our planet, in the cold reaches of space, and it's gotten everyone wondering, what did Voyager find? And how will it affect our understanding of space and Earth? Voyager's mission began thanks to the brilliant planning of Gary Flandro, an expert at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. He found out that a rare planetary alignment would occur in the late 1970s and early 1980s. This cosmic lineup would allow a spacecraft to gain speed using the gravity of planets like Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. It turned what would be a 30 year trip into a 12 year journey. This alignment happens only once every 176 years, making it a rare chance. So, NASA moved quickly and launched Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 just 15 days apart in 1977. They were built to take full advantage of this alignment. But what happened after was far beyond anyone's expectations, both spacecraft ended up breaking all records in space exploration. More than four decades later, they still send back daily data, providing information about areas never explored before. What started as a four-year mission has become a never-ending journey of discovery. In their early years, the spacecraft sent back stunning images of the moons of Jupiter and Saturn. These pictures revealed volcanic activity and ice-covered landscapes that changed how scientists saw these planets. Voyager 2 made history by becoming the only spacecraft to visit Uranus in 1986 and Neptune in 1989 collecting data that had never been seen before. Even though they are now 14 billion kilometers away, they still help scientists learn more. Their missions began with a bold gravity assist maneuver, allowing them to pick up speed without using more fuel. They didn't stop at Venus or Mercury, even though early maneuvers brought them close. Their journey to Jupiter was a major challenge, needing to travel 10 times farther than Earth is from Mercury. They had to pass through the asteroid belt, something only Pioneer 10 and 11 had done before. Yet the technology onboard was very basic, each spacecraft had just 69 kilobytes of memory. That's far less than what a basic calculator has today. The probes had to make critical decisions on their own, guided by very limited computer power. They stored data on tape recorders and sent it back to Earth using a transmitter with just 23 watts of power, about as strong as a light bulb. Each Voyager had a 12-meter dish for communication. But as they moved farther away, it became harder to receive their faint signals. Signal delays also became longer. Voyager 2's messages now take over 18 hours to reach Earth. Everyday devices like radios and phones create interference, making it harder to listen to them. Despite this, the spacecraft have exceeded all expectations. They've found things no one saw coming and changed how we think about space and the universe. They even helped us learn more about the mysterious Oort cloud, which is full of icy, comet-like objects far beyond Pluto, still held by the sun's gravity. As Voyager moved forward, it crossed the heliopause, which marks the end of the sun's magnetic influence and the beginning of interstellar space. Scientists expected a big change at this boundary, more cosmic rays, stronger magnetic fields, but they were surprised when those changes didn't happen. Instead, the magnetic field stayed the same, confusing researchers who thought the transition would be dramatic. This surprise came when Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause on August 25, 2012. It detected an increase in plasma density, confirming it had entered interstellar space, but the expected shift in the magnetic field direction was missing. This led scientists to rethink what they knew about the heliosphere, the magnetic bubble protecting our solar system. The Voyagers have rewritten space science, showing that what we thought we knew might only be part of the story. 
Their journey has given us new ways to look at the cosmos and ourselves. These spacecraft prove that with ingenuity and perseverance, we can reach places no one thought possible. They remind us that space exploration is just beginning. Every bit of data they send back may unlock secrets we haven't even imagined yet. They are a legacy of human curiosity, still flying through the unknown. Voyager 1 and 2 have become legends in science, inspiring the next generation to explore, question, and dream about the stars. Their mission isn't over. As long as they keep sending data, they will guide us deeper into the mysteries of space. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.